This is a setup video for the Cobham Explorer 710. First step, get a GPS. Here we have the Explorer 710. First step is to unclip the terminal and lift the antenna so that we can see the LED screen. Pull and hold the power switch for a few seconds until we see the LED flashing. Here you can see the Explorer 710 boot sequence. Wait for the progress bar to move from left to right until you see the pointing screen. Here, cancel out and go to the top left corner using the keypad. Press OK on the signal bus. Here, you can see the status of the GPS and see that you are trying to acquire a new GPS. The more of the sky you can see, the quicker you will be able to get a GPS. Here, we have an open view of the sky. You can also see the status of the GPS in the top right corner on the web interface. Once you have a GPS, you will see the actual position displayed on the LED. The same is shown on the web interface in the top right corner. If you are going to use Ethernet, now is a good time to connect it so that you do not move the terminal after pointing. The second step is pointing to the satellite. So here you can see the coverage of the I-4 constellation which is used for beacon. Use the compass on the terminal to give you a rough idea of the direction of the satellite. Now we have a GPS for our location, we can go back to pointing to get an accurate fix on the satellite. Here you can see the signal strength, and you can move the terminal left and right and adjust the elevation angle to get a better signal to the satellite. On the LED we can see the signal strength on the screen and hear the audio tone. The higher the signal bar and the higher the audio tone, the better the signal. We can also use the web interface to see the signal strength as well. Moving on to the third step, registering on the network. Once we are happy with our signal strength, we need to accept the signal strength by pressing OK or accept on the web interface. Here you will see the status of the terminal change to searching as it looks for the MRSAT network. Once you see ready, this means that the terminal is registered on the network. Once again, you can do the same on the web interface and see registration under terminal status. Step four is opening a data connection. You can open a data connection by going to the bottom left corner and pressing OK, and then selecting which type of data connection you want, and then pressing OK to start the connection. Here, we'll open a full symmetric HDR connection. Click Start, and it will start the connection. You will see the connecting status on the LED, and eventually, you will see that HDR is connected and there will be a timer. Here again, we could have done the same using the web interface by pressing the play button next to the HDR connection. The final step is starting a live broadcast. So we have our HDR connection running. We open our selected live broadcasting application. We select the destination and select the right profile. We start the video call. Here, once you can see the status is on streaming, that means we have a live broadcast running. Thank you for watching.